I like to see Jamaica come become crime free. If Jamaica and we're Jamaica, we for economy. No more breeds are lost in revolution. Each one's be ground. No one's be hit. This is good for our economy. Welcome once again to AgroBuzz, our weekly agricultural program right here on Deranged Coffee Break. Now, did you know that Jamaica is currently importing a vast percentage of the goat and sheep meat that we consume annually? Mm-hmm. As you know, curry goat that digs like manish water are top favorites on the national menu, but we are simply not producing enough of that meat locally. But the Ministry of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture and Fisheries, they're doing something about that. Mm-hmm. Hey, oh, in order to increase production in the small ruminant sector, Minister Carl Samuda recently opened the small ruminant reproductive facility located at the Ministry's Demonstration and Training Center in Hounslow, St. Elizabeth. And now this is just one of the initiatives aimed at increasing the production of goat and sheep meat locally. So here to tell us this morning about this and the Ministry's plan to increase production is Mr. Dwight Williams, who is Deputy Research Director for the Research and Development Division's Livestock Development Division of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture, Fisheries. What a long title. What a lovely. <laughs> Mr. Dwight Williams, good morning. Good morning, Doreen. Good morning, Doreen. Good morning, Doreen. <laughs> now tell me, which animals are designated as small ruminants and why? Okay, then. Um, ruminant is a term, a classification for the digestive Okay. You have ruminants and you have monograms. Oh, now, a monogastric is a simple stomach animal which um, humans, um, chicken, poultry, mm-hmm. are, are pigs are, are, are classified as monogastric. Mm-hmm. Under ruminants, a complex that digestive system, mm-hmm. um, the, the, the stomach is multi compartment and it's assigned to both sheep and cattle. Okay. No, the four compartments that they have are rumen, which is the, 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 the larger part of the, the, the digestive um, structure, mm-hmm. the reticulum, the mesom, and the abomasum, which is the true stomach what? for those animals. Okay. And the reason small is, is because sheep and goat in comparison to cattle. Mm-hmm. The small rumen, basically, the term rumen, rumina, mm-hmm. you can see the link. It's basically what we refer to as chewing the cud. Oh. When the animal chews its cud, it's ruminating. Oh. It basically brings up back and, and chews cud to, to grind it up. Oh. And so you see the link in the name. So chewing the cud is really ruminating. Ah, thank you very much for that. Very sad. Difficult to be man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So how much goat and sheep meat do we currently produce in Jamaica on a, let's say, annual basis? And what percentage of our demand does that satisfy? We, we, we satisfy just under about 30%. Okay. Um, we, we, we do about 1.1 million kilograms of goat uh, meat locally mm-hmm. and about 12,000 kilograms sheep, oh. which is mutton. Right. And, and one must understand goat meat is 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 chevron chevron okay it's it's not mutton Uh, it comes from sheep okay boy you're you're educating us this morning beautifully so now mr williams how much do we spend to import the rest that we need we spend about 11.3 million us Hmm. about 1.4 billion jamaican dollars um to import about 2.88 million um, kilogram mm-hmm. of, 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 of meat. Mm-hmm. So, so you, you can see that there's this massive deficit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we need to really do something about it. So this is coming up now with the recently opened small ruminants reproductive facility. Um, is, is this going to fix the problem? Are we going to be able to ex- import less? Well, we are working towards. Mm-hmm. It's not an easy um, fix. And, and we are approaching it from several aspects. Uh, of which this um, Onslow, um, we have a facility there. It's mm-hmm. the Onslow Sheep and Goat Demonstration and Training Center. Mm-hmm. It's a center of ex- excellence for ruminants, small ruminants, not only in Jamaica, but also in the region. Okay, okay. Um, we recently opened the reproductive facility there. Mm-hmm. And basically what that facility will be doing is looking at basically 
fast track in reproduction mm-hmm. um, using embryo transfer, oh. using semen, and which we use as artificial insemination. Oh. So the facility will facilitate collecting semen, mm-hmm. and not only from the government's own animals, but from farmers mm-hmm. and and and. Uh, basically, what this will also allows us to do is that if a farmer has an excellent animal, mm-hmm. he can now come to us, he'll collect it, and he doesn't now have to worry about if somebody steals or that animal dies, because we'll now have that sport for even up to 100 years mm-hmm. and can be used in the future. And likewise with the embryo transfer. Wow. We currently have a facility at Borders mm-hmm. also that, that does similar work mm-hmm. and we have agreement with the farmers and the small women and association in which this may be an extensive um, procedure mm-hmm. but what we do is that if we do collect it from you one third will go to the farm mm-hmm. one third to the government and one third to the small women and association Ooh, so okay. it, it, it keeps the thing going on a sustainable basis Wow. And farmers can can sell yeah. their 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 steaming as an additional Oh, <laughs> yes, very, very good, Mr. White Williams. That was very informative. Thank you so much. And we're listening out to hear how it's going. And we want to hear about this, that the Small Ruminants Reproductive Facility at Hounslow is doing very, very well. I mean, you must give us a report as soon as you can, okay? Yes, we will. Thank you so much there. A very special guest this morning, Mr. Dwight Williams, Deputy Research Director for Research and Development Divisions, Livestock Development Division in the Ministry of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture, and Fisheries. Now, we're aiming to increase the sheep and goat population of Jamaica so that we can eat more locally produced mutton and goat meat and save on the foreign exchange. Of course, we know we can to support our farmers by eating what they grow as they grow what we eat. And for more information on the work of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture and Fisheries, you can visit the websites at moa.gov.jm and miic.gov.jm. You can also follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. And see you again next week for another Agro Buzz. The following is paid for by the People's National...